Hello fellas, Pinky Day here on YouTube. Okay guys, uh, for this evening, I've got an update video here I want to be doing here. Uh, there's another new build I'll be doing. I went ahead and, and pondered on it the night before. And uh, I came up to an immediate solution of going ahead and just building this, uh, this new kit here. It's 148 scale. Now this is the uh, Trumpeter 148 scale. Wellington Mark uh, 1C bomber and uh, I think I did an inbox review of this kit I think about a year or two ago when I bought this in Cincinnati, Ohio they had a um, I believe they had a model convention there and of course they got model vendors there around that's why I think I bought this kit I think I paid 40 bucks for it and it was a stealable deal for a kit that's almost about $100 or more but uh, in view of the kit, it's not a bad kit, guys. I mean, Trumper could do a lot more better. They even give you, uh, they give, it's a multimedia kit, with the exception of resin. They give you a, little, a very small supply of, um, a very small, a very, a very smattering amount of photo etch. And uh, none, none for the uh, interior details. Uh, well, I imagine that could be ordered online. Because I'm quite certain there's an aftermarket out there that makes these uh, these special parts in photo etch form. So, uh, and photo etch wise, I didn't really take inventory of what uh, the parts are used. I think they're more or less around the flaps and stuff like that around the engine facings. Excuse me, guys. I down pizza a while ago. I ate. It's kind of acting on me a little bit. It's kind of cooking a little bit. Okay, back to the uh, Wellington, of course. Um, so far I started this kit about a day or two ago with a slow build and uh, right now I'm building three four kits at once right now and uh, we got a lot of snow out of here there's nothing to do but build models so far this kit here I got the, all the parts all done all the interior parts and the fuselage I hadn't butted up the fuselage yet I'll show it to you as we uh, review the kit and I'll explain to you a lot better there so the kit needs to be uh, painted and uh, weathered somewhat and a few shots to be assembled and the rest of the, the construction will follow. So this will probably be a good two, three week year old kit, the bill, maybe a month, maybe, maybe about a month. But I'd say if I really press the, press the kit and, and keep on it, it's probably a good two week kit. I can have it done in two weeks with no, uh, with no fuss and no error to the, to the building of it. And I got other stuff I got to pay attention to. I got my ward. I got to come out. I promise to video that tomorrow. And I'll probably uh, have something done on that tomorrow. I'll get the mast done and installed already. And uh, so the time I show you that, the uh, the galley house will be all done and the, and the mast will be all finished. And uh, so I'll make a video of that. So I'll probably have that probably tomorrow evening sometime. Or as late as Sunday. I'm going to go for Sunday on that deal. I think it gives me allows more time for me to work on my C45 and another build I got started. And we'll discuss that. That'll be on the next video after this because I'm going to do two videos this evening. Give you guys a demo feature for Friday. And uh, it'll get me back on plastic again. I enjoy building plastic again, guys. I've been in wood so darn long. And, <laughs> and uh, I'm always uh, well greeted with plastic. And like I say, this is going to be about a good two week to a three week build. So I could probably have done a couple weeks, guys. And uh, so right now until before this evening, and uh, I got a little paint, some paint work to do and stuff to get finished on it. So um, right away now, I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera on yours truly over here. Not yours truly, but to the, uh, the Wellington. Now I'll show you the kit box. We'll go to the kit parts. Here's a big box, guys, that comes in the kit. This is, looks like it's a Malta. They gave me two squadrons of these, called uh, decal callouts. One in Malta and one in England, I believe. And um, it's a beautiful kit, as you can see right here. Well, I sure like to get me some uh, bomb carts. And some uh, and some ground accessories for this kit to really make it nice as diorama form. It's a nice kit, guys. Okay, we'll bring it, uh, the camera on to the 
the construction of the model. Let's see if I can zoom in a little, a little closer here, guys. There you go. Okay. Back to the uh, pointer system again. I've got the fuselage, rest side of the fuselage all done. I got oxygen bottles, and I got some, uh, I believe these are flare shoots right here that shoot flares out. And over here, you got your flare shoot right here where they shoot the flares through. And I believe these are the flare racks right here where they sit on. And of course, you got your flight engineer. Uh, you got this little seat that's retractable that folds just like that in the Lancaster. I think it folds down. So when the crew uh, enters the aircraft, and go through the pilot's cockpit and go down below into the tunnel right here like that in the V-17. So that's pretty well presented on here in the kit as you can see right here. You can see the little seat right there. It trices up. We'll get a little closer guys. Boy I wish I had a decent monitor. I could really uh, do a, a better job in presenting details. Okay, here it is again, guys, for the third time. This is a little seat right here, and it folds down, so when, the, when they enter the aircraft, they can always go down through here to the tunnel. And uh, the bomb bay has been done with the exception of the bombs. These parts have been primed, ready for the painting. These are all painted aluminum, I believe, and uh, that's what's going to be aluminum. Here's a catwalk right here where they walk on. And uh, you can see the detail. I got to put on the ammunition lockers on here too. I've got to put those uh, those two ammunition lockers on here. You can see the detail inside there, the geodesic uh, design that Mr. Barnes Wallace designed in this kit. Uh, Dr. Bar Barnes Wallace was a very, very uh, genius gentleman. He was very great for the war effort. He uh, did a lot. For, he did a lot. He designed the bouncing bomb, the tall boy earthquake bomb. He designed the R01 airship, the dirigible. He designed. Uh, he designed a lot of aircraft, and uh, he designed the Victor's Wellington. And uh, so the geo geodesic design on the structure covered with fabric, that was his design in general. And uh, so the Wellington bombers there, <coughs> excuse me guys, they're, wor they're, they're, they're well worth their weight in gold. And uh, they came out in 1938, the first flight of these jobs, and they, they remained in, from the first flight in 1938 all the way up until the end of the war. And they were dubbed, and she was dubbed as Wimpy. The wingspan was 80 feet. And uh, it probably carry crew of about six, seven, eight guys. And uh, this is probably about the uh, the biggest uh, light the bomb I ever built, except my card model, which is one uh, 33 scale, which is very big and huge, which is hanging up the overhead. And uh, we'll show you that right there. See if we can find Wimpy over here. There it is, guys. I think that's Wimpy right there. There she is. That's the 133 scale one. Huge. Big. This is 148 scale. It's a good kit. And I uh, got the cockpit all done. It needs to get, needs, it's dried pretty well. And you can see that it's a pretty well, uh, a lot of detail here. We'll bring the camera a little closer. And, uh, you see the radio operator and the navigator table right there. But this is all going to receive a, a coat of wash. And then it's going to be picked out with us with aluminum. And the inside and the interiors is going to be all airbrushed, all flat black, like this here. And I got the uh, the Bolton turrets too, the Bendix turrets that were used. The central turret fits in the central, 
to this location here. So uh, this is this unit's been primed, and uh, these have been primed and been painted black. These two we'll, we'll see the wash. And of course, see the Bombay right here, the catwalk. There's the Toledo right there, the loo, the toilet. And I imagine you got a. It's probably a chemical uh, box here for the toilet. I guess I don't know what it would be. Like I say, guys, here's your catwalk on here. They walk, and it goes forward. So that's more that fits in, in general this uh, this fashion. And uh, it's got to be painted. So I'll probably button up this fuselage probably by tomorrow. But I do got to install these ammunition boxes, which I forgot right here. And that about does it. So, my uh, guys, this is video one of my Trumpeter 148 scale Vickers Wellington Mark 1C build. Here's back to yours truly. That's a video one for the uh, for the Wellington. And the next video of this will probably be maybe. Uh, Monday or Tuesday next week. I should have some great results done. And I got other stuff I got to do after I get this all done. Got my goal for the night is get this thing painted. And tomorrow I'll give it a good wash. And I'll pick out some details and button up the fuselage. And uh, once I get this thing painted this evening, I'll go back to, uh, to my other bill, which will be on the next video. It will be my X Ringo ITC uh, Lindbergh now it used to be lifelike too uh, a fairy flycatcher 1927 or 25 27 it's uh, early English uh, fighter and uh, we'll go on that that'd be in the next video so I did some work on that we'll discuss that kit so right now I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload this video then I'm going to go ahead and make another video right while it's uploading of the fairy flycatcher. I think you guys will like this. And also tomorrow I'll have another video update on the video number six. It'll be on the uh, ICM or Ravel C1, C45 uh, Expediter or Beechcraft 18. And uh, so, so stay tuned for that video tomorrow for the for the Beechcraft uh, 18 or C45 Expediter by ICM. And that that'll be in tomorrow's video. So, so I'll be prepared for that. You'll you'll be amazed how much I got done on it so far. And uh, so, I got work to do tonight. So after this video, I'm gonna go ahead and make another video of my fairy flycatcher. I think you guys will like real much. And uh, I like it. I think it's kind of a cute little airplane. It's ancient by design, but it's a, it's a nice aircraft. I think you guys will like it. Okay, guys, this is uh, video one, the conclusion of video one, which is the uh, the build of the Trumpeter 148 scale Vickers Wellington, also known as Whippy. And uh, so, I'll be working on Whippy tonight. So thank you very much, fellas, for viewing my videos and my compliments. I gotta get back and start giving you guys some some replies back, and I'll let you know that I'm I'm reading your replies. Just lost all this model stuff, so I gotta get my uh, my affairs back in uh, in order, and that's the answer you got, guys, and and uh, make more videos. And uh, so this is Frankie Day signing off. So stay tuned for the. Uh, the Lindbergh uh, Fairy uh, Flycatcher. That's that's next. So stay, so you don't want to miss that video. And uh, so this is Rookie Day signing off. May God bless and make Mama happy. Happy modeling and Merry Christmas to you guys. And God bless you all. I love you guys. Bye, boys.